All right, so I just dropped a big update for the Amazing Influencers Toolkit. If you don't know, this is the extension I made for Amazon Influencers to help you make more money. Free to download on the Google Store. I'll put a link in the YouTube description down below. I not only updated the navigation and the overall look of the extension, but I also added in a new big feature, which I'm really excited to show you guys here. Now, if you don't know, my name's Rob, and I've been in the Amazon Influencer program for two years, and I'm here sharing my tips, tricks, and advice. These are things I've learned along the way, both good and bad hopefully help you make more money in the program. So if that sounds good to you, like it's in your wheelhouse, please consider hitting the subscribe button. And if you get halfway through this video and you find that I'm actually giving you something of value, then maybe you also hit the like button too, because I do like likes. Indeed, I think I am your Amazon influencer guy. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do if you're brand new is go to your storefront and click storefront fetch. And you're gonna click the blue button here. This is gonna go through your whole storefront. It's gonna get a bunch of data like the IDs of products you've tagged, your video titles, your video URLs, everything on your storefront that we're gonna use for pretty much everything else in the extension. Now, if you're new or you've been using the extension for a little bit, either way, make it a habit to be, every time before you press this button, just hit the refresh button in Chrome. It just makes it easier for Chrome to get through this. The second thing is always just leave this page up where you can see it with your eyeballs until the process is done. It only takes a few minutes and then that way, uh, you come back and it'll be done. It'll show you how many total uh, IDs it was able to fetch. So that's the first thing you're gonna wanna do and always do a refresh. Always just leave this page up while it's running. Next thing you wanna do is go to your order history because in the extension, you can actually go through your order history and get all the IDs from the products that you have ordered. So go through each year like this. And every time that you do that, what you're gonna do is just hit the fetch order history button. Give it a couple of minutes, depending on how many products you've been ordering or what time frame. And at the end, it's gonna give you a final results telling you how many different unique IDs that it was able to capture. It's gonna take all that, put it into a bucket each year, into a bigger bucket, because we're gonna use that later in Creator Connections. It's gonna give you something like this. We're gonna close this for now. Let's go back to the storefront and talk about some of these other features. The storefront health check. Look, if you have videos on your storefront that are either over tagged, which means you've tagged more than three products, or they're untagged, which means you used to have something tagged and now it's not tagged at all, it's just empty. That's, those are both situations where you're not making any money probably on either one of those. Those are both bad. We wanna know about those. Well, how do we know about them? Storefront health check. All you have to do is click the storefront health check button. It's gonna use that information we fetched. And it's gonna show you all the different videos that you've got and if, they, uh, if they're if they over tagged or under tagged. So that'll let, like this one's untagged, this one's over tagged. And you can click the edit button and fix the tagging on any of these things, right? Because again, these are all videos for me right now that I'm not making any money on because they're either over tagged or under tagged. This simplifies it and puts it all into one place so you can see it. Once you've edited it, you're done. Remove it from the list by clicking fixed and go on to the next one. It is a great way to make sure that the videos you've already made are able to make you commission. You don't want them sitting there doing absolutely nothing for you. And this is the storefront health check will make sure that your videos and your storefront stay healthy. Okay, now let's go to the collaboration tracker. This is my newest feature and I'm really excited about this because if you work with sellers, it's really hard to remember who is sending you what, uh, or what they're sending you, like, what's the ID? I can't find the listing, I can't find the message. I don't know, who, where'd this even come from? The collaboration tracker makes it easy to track all of that right within Amazon itself. You just click the button, we can see here we've got this, but there's nothing in it right now. Here's how this works. Let's say a seller says to me, hey, do you wanna do this? And I go, yeah, I'll do that. Click this button right here, put in whatever notes, uh, sending, I'll put sending with love from, and you can put who sent it to you, what platform they were on, any criteria that you need, it doesn't matter. You put that in there, you click save. Now watch what happens. I'm gonna close this, I'm gonna open it back up, and it has been added to my active list where you can click this. If you wanna see the product, you can see any of the things, uh, the, the notes. If I need to edit the notes, I can do that. You can see which date I said yes. Now if they come back and they said, never mind, we're not gonna send it to you, you go, okay, no problem. You click remove and it'll pull it from the list. But when you actually finish your content for this, simply click done. And it's now going to put that over here. There it is right there, ultra human ring and uh, the completed date and everything here. It is a great way to be able to, within Amazon, track these things. Now look, probably once every two weeks, what you're gonna wanna do is click export to CSV, take it over and drop it into a Google sheet somewhere because if Chrome does something weird and wipes some stuff out, you wanna make sure that this stuff is saved. But this means that in real time, every single one, you don't have to keep jumping back and forth between Google, Amazon, Google sheet, 
Amazon, Google Sheet. Now you can just collect them all in one big bucket and then go and empty that bucket all at once later. That way if something shows up in a few days and you're like, what the heck did I say yes to? Just come back here and it's covered. Also got this nice feature here. If somebody says, hey, what about that Bluetooth thing? You can easily find it. Really excited about the collaboration tracker. This is gonna be such a time saver for people that work with sellers. Now, the content gap. The content gap, what that does is it's gonna take your sales report. You're going to download a sales report. It's going to be the last 30 to 90 days of your on-site and it needs to be a CSV file. You're going to drop that into here and it's going to give you a final report that is going to cross-reference your sales report that you just gave it against your storefront. And if it finds a bunch of stuff selling on your sales report that you don't actually have on your storefront, that you don't have tagged on your storefront, the question is, is why are you getting credit for that? If you don't have direct content and why is somebody else not getting credit for it unless there's nobody else on that product, right? Because if influencers are on it, they should be getting that credit if they're getting watched. That could be an indicator that that product actually needs an influencer video. And if you're already making a little bit of sales because of something else you did, wouldn't you like to make more sales? So it helps to identify that gap between what's selling on your sales report versus what's missing in your storefront. That's where the gap actually comes in. Um, and the last one we have on this list is the copyright audit. And by the way, these are only a few. I'm gonna show you the other features over on Creator Connections here in just a second. Copyright audit, this will search through your storefront and look for opportunities where the brand might have stolen your videos. It's gonna run for a little while and it's gonna give you a final list at the end that says, here's all of the ones that there's their timestamp matched your timestamp exactly on the dot. And then it's gonna be a second section that says, but these were really close. And you can go through those and I guarantee that if you've got more than, let's say 10 results, you're gonna find people that stole your video without you knowing it. So the copyright audit, extremely helpful to find those situations where people have been thieving your stuff. Worth mentioning that the copyright audit, the, the content gap, the collaboration tracker, and the over-tagged videos in the storefront health check, those are all only available through the subscription, the pro subscription of the extension, right? So the uh, untagged videos on here is still totally free and of course storefront fetching. But let's jump over to Creator Connections. This is the big function. This is what everybody wanted. This is gonna take your storefront or your order history or the content gap IDs. We've already fetched all of these things and it's gonna drop them into Creator Connections to see if you have available campaigns for any of them. Because look, if there are campaigns that match any of these IDs, you want to accept them. Why? Because that means you're gonna make more money on them whenever they sell. You're making a little bit of money right now. Wouldn't you like to make more money on those? So that's what all of these do. And we've set it up so you can automatically accept when you find new opportunities. So brand new campaigns that you don't have, like if, if an ID doesn't have any current campaigns on it, but you find a new available campaign, you want that. Or maybe you've already accepted a campaign for that idea, ID, but you find a better campaign with either a higher commission or same commission, but better end date, click automatically accept. The process is gonna run and it's gonna, if it finds any of those situations, it's going to accept them automatically on your behalf. Uh, if you don't want to automatically accept them, if you want to review them manually, no problem. You can just uncheck that and still run the same processes. Now, this shows you an estimated time frame of how long it's gonna take because we have to check each ID one at a time. It's one of the restrictions of creator connections, but we're checking each one at a time. Like the storefront fetch, leave this up while it's running. Make sure you can see it with your eyeball and also refresh the page before you do it too, just to make sure you clear it out because there's a lot to check on this. We wanna make sure that Chrome is uninhibited whenever it does it. So we'll do a refresh and then start your process and then walk away, let it run, but make sure you can see it with your eyeballs right there. The add links button, because you wanna add your content links to each campaign that you accept because it gives you opportunity for potential brand collaborations for those campaigns. You used to have to do this manually and if you had hundreds of campaigns accepted, that was a pain in the butt. I've automated that process for you and all you have to do is you're gonna click that button right there. It's gonna go through all of your accepted campaigns and look for any that still need content and if it can match content from your storefront, to that campaign, it's gonna automatically add those links in for you. This was a huge time saver and a feature request. This is also pro subscription subscribers only. Very quickly, two more things to show you. The really popular break even profit loss calculator, it looks at all the details of these products and it runs some data analysis that says, okay, if you buy this, how long is it gonna take before you can break even? This situation, that's not good. But it's gonna give you an estimate of that number. It's gonna say the price, how many has been selling, 
uh, and, and how much profit you can expect to make per month once you actually do break even. Also, you're gonna wanna set your, your commission rates up here. Just click the icon. I just put a two for all other categories. You can do all of the individual ones if you want, but for me, two is like an average. And as long as you have something in this field, it'll just use this number for everything. So for me personally, I just use two, so that's what it does for automatically calculating. You can see it's also doing video count because it's factoring in the, the, how many videos are there because that has an impact as well. And also we've added in the parent ID, which is a fantastic way to tag products, especially like this that have a lot of variations. In our Facebook group, we talk a lot about parent ID, so make sure you join if you have not already. The last thing I wanted to show you guys is on your storefront, you have an edit button. So if you needed to edit one of your videos, and a download button in case you needed to download the raw video or the thumbnail. This will do both of those things. I'm trying to do as much as we can from the storefront because this is where you're spending most of your time anyways. Uh, to make sure to note, the edit is a free function. The download button is for paid subscribers only. So that's it. That's what we currently have in the Amazing Influencers Toolkit. There are more features that are on the way. Uh, I, I'm still working. If you guys have any problems, obviously, let me know. If you have any feature ideas, let me know. Glad to do that. And again, you can use this whether you want to stick with the free or if you want to get the upgraded paid subscription stuff. My goal here is to help you guys with all of these features to get more out of the things you're already doing. If there's money left on the table, I want to take that money from the table and put it in your pocket. And that's why I'm developing these features and functions on the Amazing Influencers Toolkit. So hopefully this was helpful for you guys uh, in understanding how to make this thing work. Obviously, let me know if you have any problems. And as always, peace out. Boom.